My name is Matt Namer. I'm with the tire department. Uh, I go over the shop charges that you guys get on the road whenever you got to get a tire changed out on the road. Um, there's a few things that I wanted to let you guys know about that will help you save some money. A uh, few things you can do uh, when you're on the road and you have a shop uh, that's wanting to change a tire, if you can get pictures sent either uh, through a cell phone, uh, text message, what, any way you can get a picture to road assist to show what tires are wanting to change will be a huge help. If you have uh, road calls, another big thing is Qualcomm messages. Send either to your fleet manager or your road assist person, letting us know when the tech gets on scene and as soon as the tech's done. What that does for us is when the shop sends us an invoice and they're trying to charge five hours labor for a tire change, we can look at that Qualcomm message and say, you know, you only spent 20 minutes on site while you're charging five hours labor. So with those messages, it can really save you a lot of money. Um, one thing shops like to do out on the road is they, they're trying to convince you guys that uh, if you don't change this tire, you're gonna get a, you're gonna get a ticket. Well, there's, I have some examples here of the most common ways that a shop is gonna try and convince you these tires need to be changed. And that's not really the problem. One problem right here with this tire, there's no steel or anything showing on here. This tire needs to be changed, but it can make it to a terminal. This chunk out here, there's nothing illegal with this tire. It looks ugly and needs to be changed, but it can wait till we get to a terminal. A huge thing out on the road are steer tires. This right here is called your decoupling groove. You notice how smooth it is right here? And if you look right here, you can see a little bit of line right here. On this side of the tire, it's not smooth at all. You got a little bit of a lip right there. Well, a shop's gonna tell you that this is at 030 seconds and it's a DOT illegal tire and you need to change it. That's not the case. This is called the decoupling groove. The decoupling groove is not a major tread void. In order for it to be illegal, it's gotta be 430 seconds or below in the major tread void. These right here are your major tread voids. This is not considered a major tread void. As long as there's no steel showing, this tire will make it completely safe and fine to a terminal and you'll save a lot of money coming to a terminal versus the road. Out on the road, a set of steer tires is going to cost you about $1,250. At a terminal, it's going to cost you about $1,050. It could even be greater in savings depending on uh, the credits that you would get on your tires that we took off. When you're taking your tread depths on trailer tires and drive tires, the real way that you need to be checking is you have these here that are called fillets and you have your wear bar. When you're taking your tread depth, you got to make sure that you don't take them on the fillets or on the wear bar, you got to take it next to it. The wear bar is at 230 seconds. So when you're down to the wear bar, you're still good. And you can get 10 to 12,000 miles per 30 second and still make it to a terminal and get a tire change at a terminal. Fillets or stone injectors, wear bar. When measuring your drive tires, steer tires, or trailer tires, always remember to take the tread depth at the lowest point. You don't take it from the wear bar, which is at 230 seconds, and you don't take it from the stone ejectors or fillets. So whenever you're tread depth in your tires, be sure to get to the lowest point on the tire in every major tread groove. Another thing that you need to look for, if a shop tells you that your tire has a sidewall bulge, there's, there's a few things you can tell to see whether it needs to be changed or not. If the bulge is less than 3 8 inch, it doesn't need to be changed. If it's over 3 8 it probably needs to be changed. Here at Prime, when we do a section repair on a tire, there'll be this blue, dot, this blue triangle on it. That tells DLT that there's a section repair on this sidewall. So anytime you see one of these blue, sometimes they're yellow, 
dots on the sidewall and there's a bulge, generally they go hand in hand and that tire is still fine to roll. Another common problem with tires is this tread lift. The shop is going to tell you that you're having cap peel and that this is about to come off and you need to change the tire. This is strictly cosmetic and there's nothing wrong with this tire. You notice I can't pry this up or get in there at all. It can be all the way around the tire like it is almost on this one. Once again, my name's Matt Namer and I work in the tire department. If you ever have any questions on your tires or tire related issues, feel free to give me a call and I'll gladly answer them for you.